Cole Bennett has consistently given us updates to his Lyrical Lemonade album he's been working on that will be dropping at the end of January. He's given us a lot of news since my last video over a month ago on this album, and he created a new All Is Yellow alternative Finsta account where he communicated with fans, made posts about the album, gave us teasers and whatnot uh, leading up to the release. Before we get into more of the teasers and the giant stacked feature list that he's built up, take a look at Apple Music right now. The pre-save has already been up. It's been like that since the last song uh, dropped on the project. It literally gives us the date, January 26th, uh, coming up in two weeks. You have all the singles. You can go ahead and play them. We have the yellow curtain. Very, very simple. I kind of like the cover. I don't really know what else it would be. Otherwise, you'd have to put like every artist on the cover. So I like that he went simple and just kept it yellow, the whole theme along with the ties. And then the newest single will be track 10 and the song that will be dropping tonight in just a couple hours. I'll be reacting to it uh, on live stream. And so I'll post it on the second channel for you guys. And the song should be out by the time you guys are watching this video. It's the one with Yachty, Joey Bat and Gus Dapperton. And so I'm here to finish off this video by showing you guys the track list to the project. The reason why I had to switch my plans and uh, change up the video and finish it today was because the official track list just dropped on Cole Bennett's page. As you can see right here, we have the back cover uh, photographed in Plano, Illinois, where Cole Bennett's from. Looks super pretty. You got the yellow tent on there to match kind of the theme along with the yellow ties and whatnot. 14 tracks. Let's go to see where these collaborations ended up. We obviously speculated 35 different artists that were going to be on this project so let's see where they ended up we have the first song is fly away which this is a Sheck west ski mask and then jid ended up being on this song which is crazy because we had a snippet of jid's verse it sounded insane i love that him and ski mask are on the same song tongue is a gun and the weapon is lethal a blessing a lesson expression we should be getting a banger on the first song of course we already covered guitar in my room dirk and cuddy being on the album is very cool that's track two say your grace track three this is the chief keef and yachty song lucky did not make this song because I guess his verse didn't get sent in on time. But a fun fact about this song is that Chief Keef actually produced it. So I'm very interested to see uh, what Yachty does uh, on the other song on the album because of course he's one of the few artists that will be on here twice. And we've been waiting for this one for a while. Track four, This My Life, Tekka, Leroy, and Skies. I mean, when you just think like Lyrical Lemonade collaborations, I mean, that's exactly what you think of right there. I mean, this is what we expected on the album and there's like a new snippet to it as well posted by Cole Bennett and the last you know, a week or two of a little bit of Tekka and Leroy on the song. The next one after that, yeah, this is like the craziest collaboration, the biggest collaboration on the entire project. First night, Tizo, Juicy J, Kochi's, Denzel Curry, and Lil B. That like doesn't even make sense, but I'm just interested because there's like five different artists on one song and, and it's making it one of my more anticipated songs to listen to on the project when it fully drops because I'm not sure how they're gonna manage, you know, the structure of the song and whose verse goes where. I mean, it's gonna be very chaotic. And again, we have videos to all these songs on the project. Next after that, we have special with Lotto, which we knew that there's gonna be a couple female artists on the project. I guess he got Lotto on there. Swaley, I did not expect, and he also got Amine. So Amine, I know Cole Bennett really respected his creative vision and whatnot. Next after that, we have With the Fish. He got Snot on there. You know, kind of makes sense. I mean, I'm surprised we haven't seen Snot in the suit and tie yet. He ends up on the project along with Six Dogs, who was posted on the All is Yellow page. So I was kind of speculating that he was gonna have a posthumous feature on there, or maybe this is a tribute to Six Dogs in a way. Next up for that, we have the Doomsday songs, which we, of course, have the first Doomsday, the first single, which was just so amazing that he kicked off the album with Juice World and Chord Day. It was just like the perfect release, been waiting for it for years, and it was just everything that I ever imagined, and the video is really cool. When he posts that there was a Doomsday Part 2, we just knew that Juice wasn't going to be on it, and I didn't know maybe that meant Corday was rapping along it, you know, with someone else like Eminem or a J. Cole. Obviously, Role Model is on, you know, the Slim Shady LP, and Eminem already did the song back in like 97 so it'll be very interesting to see what Eminem does on this song I mean I assume it's just like the same beat and he kind of just redoes the song but I kind of had a feeling that there was going to be a legend on this song of some sort so a solo Eminem song and the only solo song on the project I'm actually surprised you know we didn't get another like solo song from anybody uh, but the whole point was to bring worlds together and, and whatnot so I also am not like complaining by any means next up for that we get fallout this was the brand new single I just talked about Gus Dapperton, Yachty, Joe 
Joey Badass. Uh, one of the better, you know, videos, you know, it was very visually pleasing to watch. I think Gus Dapperton was a star. The song was an absolute joy of like alternative and pop. And I think that shows you the range that this album will have as we go to the next song after that, Equilibrium. This is with Babytron. We knew he was confirmed. And G Herbo, we knew he was confirmed. So they're on the song together. We have a picture of him now in yellow suits. Such a random collaboration. I'm very excited for this one, actually. <laughs> next after that, we have Hello There. This was another one of the singles from a few months ago. Corbin, Tracy, and Black Cray all came together. But I haven't really listened to this song too much um, since its release, really. Um, but I'm excited to, you know, see how it fits into the track listing, you know, of the project because it wasn't a bad song by any means. And then to the last two songs on the project, what are we on? Track 13 here with Umi. I'm sorry, I've, ne I've never heard of her. I just know she's the other female artist on the project, but that's the one that Saw Baby's on and Tizo again. I kind of have a feeling Tizo is going to be on here multiple times just because we saw him so much in, in the yellow tie and whatnot. And then the last song we, of course, already got, Stop Giving Me Advice. Amazing song. I've actually been playing it a lot recently. Jack Harlow and Dave. I mean, I think it's cool that he fit a UK artist into this song. It's just probably going to be the most lyrical song on the project, minus maybe a Doomsday Part 2 uh, with whatever Eminem's got to say. I'm very interested. But with the official track list being announced, it's very interesting to see who didn't make the project. Obviously, Lucky didn't get his verse in on time. I was a little confused why Denzel Curry was seen with Big Sean in a yellow tie. I thought maybe they would have a song together on the project, or maybe Big Sean had a verse on one of these songs, but I don't see him anywhere. Another thing that broke my heart, of course, is we didn't get to see Trippy on this project uh, as well. But I'm sure there's a few other artists that, you know, weren't included. Uh, you know, I was surprised not to see, like, Central C on there. I know he had a song. It just didn't end up making it, I guess. Like I said, I'll be live for this project in a couple weeks. Uh, live streaming it for you guys. So many videos I'm be making on this album. I've been excited for it for a long time. Let me know in the comments down below you guys' thoughts on this track list. Is it a W and L? I have a Twitter, Instagram. Go check me out there. More videos soon. Other than that, I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.